Hello and welcome to Chemistry 1B, Spring Quarter 2021 at De Anza College. So I'm your instructor, Mike Ferguson. Uh, the purpose of this video is to orient you to the class. So uh, if you see here on my screen, I have the home page for the Canvas class. And I've set this up so it's asynchronous. I know that we have two hours on Tuesday that we can meet synchronously, but it's, it's, not, uh, it's not mandatory. You don't have to come if you don't want to. So uh, everything else is set up so that it can you can just go. So here's the home page, and so and this is where the video is. So uh, how do you navigate how do you navigate this class if you've never had a class like this before? You see where I'm assuming you can already log into Canvas since if you're seeing this video, and if you see on the left side here you have the different links, and if you go to the modules links link here, so. So as long as the internet, come on internet, there we go. So uh, the first part here is course orientation. Uh, and this is the module, and you can see the different modules. I have a bonus module here for soft skills. So uh, this is optional, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. And then I go into the course content, so chapter five here. And uh, here's some things, let me just go through some of this. So here, uh, when you click on this, I went to the modules, I click on here, and you can click on the next button and you can go through these so I, I do recommend you go through and look at the beginning part so I'm, I'm not gonna play the video you can you can meet me there too uh, if, if you want so uh, let me talk about the first assignment first assignment here is the meet and greet so it's due Wednesday so I know it's pretty fast uh, and I've gotten some discussions with people especially the chair here at Danza and uh, I think my own personal opinion, I think this Zoom talking, and it's here to stay. I mean, I think we are going to go back to face-to-face -to -face eventually. The pandemic is still in full force right now as I'm making this video, but I think that remote learning and also work is not going to go away. Uh, so, uh, But this is important for you as you're in college. You need to learn how to work in this, this environment. So. Uh, your first assignment is to sell yourself. I mean, describe yourself, and I, I like to think it make people want to work with you. So, I mean, think of it almost like a job. And, and I mean, one of the goals of going to college is to make connections. So you're making connections with your classmates, and you're developing these skills, these, these soft skills, as we call them. And there are soft skills. Some people are just terrible at their online presence and how they work online and and that's going to be really hard for those individuals to function uh in in this post-covid uh society and like i said i don't think it's going away i mean covid uh, i mean i guess it, that the virus itself is here to stay and i know that that we will eventually you know gather in massive people together without masks i think that is going to happen but i think that the this type of of learning interaction. I don't think it's going away, so it's good to start developing that for yourselves. So uh, do that. I, I know I, I did a little bit more for myself. I recorded a video. You don't have to record a video if you don't want to. You don't have to show your face if you don't want to. I know it's an option there. And you can write uh, stuff too. And and like I said, this is, this is so uh, for you guys, so you can meet each other and also you can sell yourself. So Think about what your online presence means. And I don't mean like Instagram and that kind of stuff. I mean, that is online presence, but this is a professional way. Think of more like LinkedIn. So moving on, here's the course syllabus. Although uh, I may have to change something already. Um, I, um, we're using the hands-on labs. I might, I, I did change the order in that. I might be told not to. So <laughs> we'll find out about that, but it's that's way in the future. That's like at the end of the course. Uh, and okay connect so um, if you haven't looked at the syllabus already uh, so uh, canvas is the center of everything I'm all the grading is going to go to canvas as well I mean it's that's where you're going to be able to view your grades uh, so connect so this is with your textbook and here are some videos and whatnot how to get into connect so let me change tabs here and I can, oh, it's not going to let me sign in. Okay, so sign in. And so this is this is the course here. Uh, you might see the little, oh, I do the student view. So here's the student view. 
So, and, oh, it was very different than, than that. But here it has all the assignments as well. So you're going to do the assignments, uh, and you can see there's some virtual labs as well. You're going to do all the assignments in Connect. Uh, and the tests are on Connect as well. So, uh, well, I should say all of them. There's, there are some assignments that are on Connect. There's a hands-on lab. Uh, and then there's the meet and greet discussion. So let me go back to Canvas here. And, but the grades that you, what you do in Connect is going to come back to, uh, uh, to, um, to Canvas. So uh, let me go ahead and switch to the modules uh, so we can scoot, uh, let's go faster. Um, I have lesson re release, uh, due dates, code of conduct. That's, that's all there. Here's the bonus module I talked about. Let's jump in to like a content. Here's chapter five. So, and you, of course you can keep on scrolling, but you can go through. Uh, and uh, so if you know from the welcome video, I'm actually, I live in Hawaii. So talk about distance. I'm, you know, I'm on the island of Maui right now. And here I am teaching you students in California, but some of you may not even be in California. I hear about students being international and whatnot, taking these classes. So, uh, but it's interesting, interesting enough. Uh, I remember when I was talking to some of the people, I, I've done business uh, with with uh, people in, in Boston, and I'm in Hawaii, and we're talking about stuff that's going on in California. So it's just, this is the way the world is now. So uh, so here's chapter five. And also, I've used a different textbook. Uh, so I've actually created content. I haven't had time to make content for Silverberg. I used a different book called Tro. So uh, Tro Chemistry Molecular Approach. And I have the videos here. I also have blank notes. So what you can do is you can grab these blank notes, watch the video, and I also have the completed notes. If you want, you can use the blank notes as guided notes. Uh, so uh, it, is all, it also depends on your learning style. I mean, I recommend this because I, I solve problems, and you can see me solve problems doing this. Again, like I said, this I set this up as an asynchronous class. Uh, for the synchronous time, we're going to do kind of a problem discussion section, if you're wondering. So we're going to, we are going to solve problems, or you'll see me solve problems during that time. Uh, but of course, you can come to this, come here and do this anytime you want. You can come at three in the morning and, and watch this stuff. So whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, so uh, I'm going to keep on going through. So I have the lessons here, and here's all chapter five. It's chapter six and tro, I think. Yeah, chapter six and tro. Uh, and you get to the assignments. So, and these click, these are all the homework, and so you can click on these and that'll bring you to Connect. And then you do them. Uh, so, uh, for the lab, uh, you can see 30% of the class is a lab. I have four virtual labs and four hands on labs. There's also the introductory lab uh, and and set up for hands-on labs as well. So I'm going to go through hands-on labs in a, in a little bit. But here are the virtual labs. The virtual labs are through Can I think Canvas, Connect. Uh, and then when you're done with all of these, uh, I'm going to have the Chapter 5 quiz. So this is here. This is also in Connect. Uh, and so I do have some proctoring enabled on this. So it's Proctorio. It's the free version. You don't have to uh, be recorded and show your face and that kind of stuff. It just kind of makes it, uh, locks a screen on your computer a little bit more. And uh, so for the, the all the tests, I'm assuming you're going to have open book and open notes and that kind of stuff. So, I mean, that's that's what I, I don't feel like you're cheating if you're doing that. Where, where cheating would be is if uh, you you uh, start conferring with your classmates. But I also, I also have some algorithmic thing. It's it's actually, uh, like, I know many of my colleagues are, are worried about cheating. I, I'm not too worried about cheating, to be honest with you guys. I think, I, I think most students are trustworthy. I mean, I'm sure cheating happens, but I know that's a, it's a big emphasis on many people. Um, I recommend that you don't cheat, though, because it's just going to come back to haunt you. I mean, chemistry is, it builds on each other. And, and I, I haven't met you guys yet, but uh, many students that take this class are pre-med. And you need to take organic and biophysical chemistry. If you if you can't do this stuff, you're you're going to be uh, in a world of hurt, you know, when you start taking those classes. So then not only that, but then you this is also I don't really have any illusions. I don't think I'm test I'm 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 teaching many chemists, 
a chemistry is a requirement, and about one third of all freshmen, or all, well, all one third of all college students take freshman chemistry. So uh, we have a this is a pretty big required class, and although I occasionally get chemistry students, uh, it's not very frequent. I, I feel like I'm teaching you logic. So I'm also teaching you problem solving. So that's what I really want you to get from this class. And if you uh, do some economic dishonesty, you're missing out on that. So I mean, so it's one of those you get what you pay for kind of thing. So I recommend you go through it. And I'm happy to help you. That's the other thing is I hope you, you get from this is that uh, and whenever students get caught cheating, what I, what I find the common thread through everything is just this feeling of desperation. So is usually what drives students to do that, and and what I what I'm hoping is that that feeling of desperation uh, goes away, is that that you can you can come to me for any issues or and come and help each other out as well. So that's I, I want you to form study groups, uh, but we'll we'll talk about that later. Uh, we'll see how the introductions go. I'm I'm recording this before the 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 term starts, but yeah, there's a quiz there, um, and so. But let me go back to the course navigation. So I'm showing you how all the course works. So and you've completed this chapter. So let me go back to the module so I can show you the hands-on lab. So uh, and then you so there's chapter five. I showed you how to get to that. Oh, and, and here's hands-on lab, but let me jump also ahead in the midterm. So midterm, the midterm and the final. So they're they're also here in in uh, Canvas and they connect you to connect. Uh, midterm and the final. That these are the only assignments that I have uh, open during a very specific time frame. Uh, everything else, just you can just go and do it. But then the the hands-on labs. Uh, the way that it works uh, for Danza is they wait until what's called the census. It's the class list is is finalized, and that's two weeks into the term. After two weeks in the term, then they start sending out the um, the the lab kits to you. And uh, just so you know, I am expecting things to go wrong. I'm expecting students not to get their lab kits. I'm expecting students to have issues. I've I, so I'm a full-time teacher at the University of Hawaii. Um, I've had students get COVID, uh, and they have a rough time. So uh, you do not want to get COVID, by the way. Um, I've never had it. I, in fact, I'm fully vaccinated. So and I, I've dodged uh, this pandemic. Uh, but uh, you you really don't want COVID, uh, and uh, but the students that get it, uh, they they um, they're usually among other things tired for um, about two weeks. They're pretty pretty non-functional, is what my experience is with them. Uh, so at least the students have told me the ones that are symptomatic. So uh, if you do get COVID or, or some things happen, right? Some things happens with your family or work. If that happens, come talk to me. We can, we'll sort things out. So don't worry. This is, that's the joy of this asynchronous uh, class is that we can work around stuff like that. So that's the nice thing. Okay, but let me go back to hands-on lab. And you can see uh, some of the hands-on lab, uh, I put its own. I, I've organized this by due date. Uh, the chapters and the due date. So, so here's April 30th for this one, and then hands-on lab. The registration due May 7th. And so I'm getting the like the idea is that you've you've gotten your kit by then. I guess this you can even do without your kit. But uh, I have uh, pre-lab videos here. I'm not going to play them because then you can. It's going to be weird for me to hear myself talk while I'm recording another video. So there's the the registration here, and uh, this this part portion brings you. Uh, from Canvas into it links you into hands-on lab. I have hands-on lab here in another tab and of course uh, it's gonna be different for you uh, as because I'm the instructor. I asked, I even asked them to uh, to to give me, I'm gonna let the instructor view, I asked them to give me student access and they said no. They is in hands-on labs. So, uh, but I here, here are the labs. So you have uh, these four labs, and you also have the getting started laboratory safety. So if you if you look at the the syllabus talk, I um, I, I count these two as much weight as each of these labs, and because uh, I know you guys are having a rough time anyways. I mean, why not give you a little more points there? Uh, so, uh, but uh, 
what you do with these, and I mentioned them in the previous lab videos, you go through the exercises and you do the lab and you put in the data. At the end, you get this evaluation. I'm not just doing it briefly. And, and then uh, when you get to the evaluation, you'll get this big, long uh, document. And that's what I want you to turn in. Uh, also with some photographs. So uh, to do that. And, and listen to the pre-lab videos as well because I do, um, I, I do some things like, uh, like equilibrium Le Chatelier's principle. Uh, only do one part of that. Only do not do the second part, for instance. And for Beer's law, there's some. Don't you only have to turn in the uh, absorbance versus concentration graph. Uh, you don't have to do the other ones like the resistance and the percent transmittance. That's not really important. But uh, as far as what I'm talking about now, you know, go to those videos and look at that, and 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 hopefully there's that's better instructions for you because I'm just trying to give you an overview now. And if you have any questions, again, please let me know. Okay, so uh, let me go back to the. Mo oh, and, and I can go to the next page. And this is, and it's going to look different for you as a student, but this is. Oh, again, why did I having to? Oh, it's a safety. That's right. There's two of them. Okay, so uh, then then you turn in the files here, and I guess it's different from. Oh, it's a student view. So student view. Do they have? So I mean, okay. Upload the file. I'll, I don't know why it's not uploading there. Uh, student view. Okay, it's being. Of course, is a brand new student. Okay, well, I guess it still doesn't like me. Being, it's like you're an instructor. You're not a student. Yes, uh, I must say though, it is much easier being an instructor than a student. So um, I am happy to be an instructor. So. Um, but okay, so you this is where you submit them, and if and if there's any issues, you can just email me. My email's right there. So uh, let me go back to the modules, and yeah, so I think I've explained everything here, uh, and you can see the due dates. And you know, if if you want to just power through the class, that's fine too. Um, actually, I got a student in Hawaii uh, wrote me. Uh, we're on semesters there. Wrote me before Christmas said, hey, I got another new in Christmas, can I do your class? And I'm like, all right. So student was more or less done before the semester started. So <laughs> that was that was interesting. Um, that doesn't happen very often, of course. Well, that's the first time that's happened to me as student gets before. I've had students that, that plow through the classes uh, real fast. Uh, and those students that always score very, very well, by the way. Uh, so, but... Uh, uh, the rest of you, I know it's it's going to be a, a little bit more of a, a difficult experience. Although um, this is my first time teaching quarters, but um, for second semester general chemistry, uh, students tend to do a lot better. Uh, first semester, uh, it's just you come to you come to class and every day you have a new mental model and it's just like a freight train coming at you guys. And I understand that, you know, kind of thing. And and the Gen Chem too, though you you uh, fewer mental models, but at the same time the mental models that you get are more difficult. So you got some more. You got a little bit more math this term, uh, and uh, and you have some of the more difficult. But you have fewer fewer mental models to process. So, which is nice, right? So it's nice for you as a student. So, but I think um, I think I've more or less analyzed or analyzed. I've hopefully communicated with you how the class works. And again, if you have any issues, um, and they can be outside of class, I mean, um, so many students are having issues with basic needs. So 2019 data, uh, about 30% of students uh, were not getting their basic needs met. Uh, and pandemic, the latest data suggests it's, it's almost 60%. So we've almost doubled. So students not getting their basic needs and I mean, let's face it, you are not going to be able to do chemistry and focus on chemistry if you cannot fight food and housing and that kind of thing. And if you have other situational things that are you're dealing with uh, about safety and security. And, and if you feel comfortable, and I hope you do feel comfortable, if you can talk to me and I can, uh, I, I can even here in Hawaii, I can connect you up with services uh, either local to where you're at or in, uh, uh, and even easier if, in, if you're in De Anza or in, in Sunnyvale, but I mean, many of you won't, but I can, I can find out. So uh, think of me as a resource uh, to help you out. And, and uh, also, I always say this to my students, you know, if you need help in other classes, 
And uh, interestingly enough, uh, students have hit me up with that and, and like advice for other classes. Uh, although I'm, an, I'm not a content expert, so just remember that I'm, not, I'm a content expert in chemistry, but not, not other classes, uh, especially English. Oh, you may not, you're know, probably not the best person to talk to about English, but, uh, uh, but anyways, um, I hope uh, this video has helped. And again, let me know if you run any issues, if you have any questions, and and uh, welcome to the class again, and see you see you during the term. And I'm gonna stop.